As mentioned previously, we have an attachment digital camera hooked onto the camera port of the microscope. So we can take pictures right off the microscope if that's your desire. And so we can direct the beam path to go from the viewing port down to the camera port. And by connecting this to a laptop via a firewire cable, we can take pictures right off the microscope, right onto a laptop. As mentioned previously, we have a combination of wet objectives and dry objectives on the Leica confocal microscope. In order to go from a dry objective to a wet objective, we must first rock the condenser out of the way. You can see the specimen on the stage. We rotate the nose piece until we get the wet objective almost in place. And then we add a drop of immersion oil to the front lens of the objective. We want just enough oil to cover the front lens. And then we rotate the nose piece fully into the optical path. And you can see now that the front of the objective is wet, touching the cover slip of the slide. This is how you use an oil immersion or glycerin immersion objective. Before we end our current session, it's important to follow proper shutdown procedures for using the light microscope. The first thing we do is we rotate our condenser out of the way. We take our specimen off the stage, set it aside. We dial our nose piece all the way down past the 10 objective to the blank spot and put the condenser back in place. Now the microscope is ready to be powered down. Do not forget to turn off the mercury burner before you turn off the microscope. This is a very expensive bulb and the waveguide gel is very expensive. One person already left it on over a whole weekend and we had to replace a $500 bulb. So turn off the power on the front of the mercury burner lamp house. Because the main power to the system also turns on the computer, Windows starts by itself. Therefore in shutdown you must first close Windows before you can turn off the power to the system. So we close Windows and we wait until Windows shuts down completely. To turn off power to the system, you now depress each button in the reverse order to which you turn them on. So from right to left until all the power is off. Finally, to protect our microscope, we use the dust cover to keep dust and debris off the instrument while it's not in use. So in this chapter, we're going to go through uh, a series of images that were taken with our own confocal microscope. This is a picture of a cyanobacterium taken by the Summers Lab. The green is a sigma factor that was tagged with green fluorescent protein to show protein localization. This is a maximum intensity projection of a section through the trunk region of a chick embryo taken by Chris Waldheim and Maria Elena de Ballard. If we zoom in on the composite image, uh, the blue is DAPI staining, the red is neural crest cells immunofluorescently labeled with a red fluorophore. Such thick vibratome sections can be scanned along the z-axis without interference from out-of-focus light only with a confocal microscope. And then here's some more chick embryo cells. Very pretty. Here's a, a slide I took myself. Uh, the material that led to the image is of a triceratops horn bone recovered from the Hell's Creek formation. It was processed through a decalcification series uh, yielding soft tissues with exceptionally well-preserved osteoblasts. This is an image taken by April Corella of DOPC giant unilaminar vesicles generated by electro formation and stained with DII. The image uh, is taken with a 100x oil immersion objective. Finally, we have a video taken by Rigoberto Ramirez and Ernie Kwok 
of tobacco cells undergoing mitosis. The microscope is using only transmission light with differential interference contrast. Okay, that's all. I'm Mark Armitage signing off for blah, 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 blah. I want to thank you for it, your attention during the presentation of these videos. We want to thank the Keck Foundation for their generous financial support, which allowed us to produce these videos. And also thanks to Nikon Microscopy University for the wonderful images that we've been able to display during these videos. Thank you and see you soon. Thank you.